Hey, it's Midnight Raven, and today I want to show you my haul from Kingsley Inn. I went shopping today as it's officially payday. Um, bank holiday has gone, and finally it's payday for moi. So I have gone out and I have gone to loads of places. Although Kingsley Inn was literally a hive for people. Maybe everyone had spent out from bank holiday and decided to go to Kings Lynn, but there were queues everywhere. So I went to quite a few places. Um, so in this video, we're going to have B&M, QD, Thingamabobs, The Work, and two charity shops. But if you want to see what's in my other haul, which is coming right after this video, possibly in the next day or two, I also went to Poundland, um, one below, and I also got, when I can find them, a couple of items from Primark as well, but they will be in a separate haul. So in this haul, we have B&M's, The Works, Thingy Bob's, QD, and my haul from the two charity shops I went to. And then if you want to see Primark and Poundland, there'll be a video very, very soon. It's all confusing because I didn't want to put them all in one video because then it becomes incredibly long. So hopefully I've split them up enough. Um, possibly. There are some items missing. Um, I did buy my son um, some socks. Um, which were on my Primark, but they have already gone to him. They were some um, ankle socks or sport socks, and they were five for three quid. And he had some socks with some faces on um, that were cotton, and they were five pairs for five pounds. And also the dress I'm wearing um, isn't from Primark, but it is from a really cute little offset kind of shop that they have um in king's lynn that's kind of like catwalk if you've ever been to great yarmouth kind of a clubbing fashion kind of place kind of a cross between the chav and normal and i managed to get this cute little dress it's kind of a shirt dress as it's called um it has the little bits in the side and then it has the buttons, you've got two little pockets, and then you've got a belt which you can either tie or not tie. Um, and it also has the arms on the side which you can have down. Or in the inside you have, well I can find it, you have the pull so that you can tie them up and have them on the side so you then have them like this. But I prefer to just have the thing in the inside and roll them up at the minute. I'm trying different things with it. And the belt's alright. I probably wouldn't keep the belt on it. But it gives it a bit of shape. If not, it's just kind of big because it's a t-shirt dress. And this was £15. It came in a variety of colours. There were blues. There was a red one. There was a green one. There was a black and white one. There was kind of a beige colour. And then this was possibly my favourite apart from the black and white which I might actually go back and get that but this was £15. Really likes the the open neck that it isn't too far and obviously you've got buttons and the pockets are fake. Nothing there but let's get on with the haul. So this was part of the haul because I treated myself like this is my lockdown present. So let's go to B&M first. So in B&M I got two sheet masks. I have a thing for sheet masks. Let it go. I have like a hundred now. But this is the Skin Techniques Volcanic Mud Bubble Sheet Mask. I love the idea of the volcanic part. Um, it's cleansing and exfoliating. I got that one. And then in B&M I got this one. This is a cucumber infused sheet mask from the same company. And this is cool and calming. So it's like having a giant cucumber on your face. These were one pound each, and I picked up both of them. Then I went to, where did I go? Um, where did I go? I went to QD, 
for these I remember now, these were at QD and these were the Oreo Chunky Bite and I got this from my son and these were 50p I don't believe you can get Oreos that cheap but apparently you can these were 50p and these are like mini Oreos so pick them up then I picked up two little treats these were Pineapple Punch Fruity Buff Fizzers and these were knocked down to 99p I'll just take that off and then you can see the little bar fizzers and they smell of pineapple punch and these are from W7 and I got these at um, QD 99p and then I found these which are really cute these were not down to 79p and these are paper straws um, and there is a few of each of them in the back there's 20 all together there's five of each, obviously you've got the one in the front and then down the side you've got another four and I thought these would be kind of cute, nice and summery they were trying to get rid of all their summer stuff to get like their Christmas and fall and these were not down to 79p so I picked up these I know paper strays aren't good for the universe but they're not going to do much to sit on the shelf so I thought I might get them then I went into savers, which I didn't mention I found these these were the face facts queen bee moisturizing sheet and it's actually a bee which is kind of weird it makes your face look like a bee and i thought that was so cute um this is uh vegetarian as well and it's enriched with honey hence the bee and this one isn't enriched for cats don't worry but it's got a kitty on the front it's actually enriched with cucumber, just in case you're wondering, the cat and the bee, it's not infused with cat, it's cucumber. Um, this is a purifying kitten purifying sheet, and this one is vegan, so this one's vegetarian and this one's vegan. I don't suggest you eat them, but they are made with um, stuff especially for vegetarians and vegans. But yeah, I got them, and this one makes you look like a little kitty, just in case you need a face mask that does that. Who doesn't? So that was that bag. Then the boring part of my haul is the works. I got, yes, bubble envelopes for my work. Um, I've got seven small bubble envelopes. And then I've got these medium sized bubble envelopes. I sell on eBay. So if you want to see my eBay, I'll try and link it down below. I never remember to link my eBay. But I do have about 900 items on there at the minute. So if you want to buy something from my eBay, please do so. Got them. Just a pound each. Really good value. Um, only four in this one and seven in this one. Then, more boring stuff. I bought more envelopes. But wait, there's sellotape too. But don't leave yet because I've got my haul from the charity shop. Stay with me. I got these essential four reels of tape. Uh, these were really cheap. They were 99p. Just imagine that at Christmas. You'll get so much wrapping done. Um, needed that for eBay. Then I bought more envelopes from eBay. And these were all 99p. That's why I love thingy bobs and QD. So I got seven vanilla size A. And I got two sets of them for a quid each. Then I got a size B, which is more long. And again, these have six in this time, so we get less the bigger they get. Then these ones were a pound as well. These were size D because I wanted size C and they didn't have any. So that's why I got these because this is the cross between the three. And these, again, only have five in. We're going down. And these ones, which are an E, we only get four for a pound. The bigger the envelope, the less you get. So when you get to like a J, you literally get two. Or if you go to the big ones, like a K, I think you only get one. Um, and these were all a pound each, and these are all for my eBay. I literally sell so much stuff. Um, it's my personal hobby. I don't sell enough to live off of it, but it's a hobby nonetheless. Then I went to a couple of charity shops, and the first charity shop I went to, I came across this. This is now going to be my new handbag. It looks like denim. Now, I wouldn't wear denim ever, but denim, I thought, went really well with this. I think the colour goes really well. So, you've got the handbag like this, and then inside you've got two little zip pockets. Um, 
they're foam shaped but in this day and age no phone is fitting in there but you can still put your electric key in there your car keys your house keys bit of change um especially if you're out and about for like parking then on the side you've got another kind of phone slot and another one on this side again you wouldn't get a phone in these so maybe a lipstick maybe a lip balm and then the inside is fairly big it's not massive but it's big enough and then you've got an inside zip pocket as well which is fairly big it's not massive again um, but it's fairly big um, and that was two pounds and I thought that went quite well with my top in the grand scheme of things and I did need a new handbag and I hate buying like ridiculous amounts for handbags because I, I, I really don't think there's a need to spend too much on a handbag then I went to a charity shop that was having buy five items for a quid basically it's um an animal charity I can't remember what it was called if I can find it out I'll put it down below but they were trying to get rid of all the stock in their charity shop that they had since lockdown so that they could put new stock out so what they were doing is they were doing five items for a pound anything in the store five for a pound it didn't matter what it was clothes books toys all five for a pound so I got five items originally only wanted one item and he said it was five for a pound um so you might as well get some more stuff so the actual item i wanted were these i saw these in the window now they look like donuts and you'd be right these are the donut forget sticker markers um how cute is that sticker markers that are in the shape of donuts basically they're little post-it notes basically in the shape of donuts and I wanted these and that was the only thing I wanted when I went in because I saw it in the window I picked these up and I went to the desk there wasn't anything else I was like looking for and then he said five for a pound and I said huh and he said anything in the store is five for a pound so I went round and had another look and I came up with this how cute is this now this is obviously a shower cap and most people don't use shower caps anymore um but originally it would have been 50p but obviously i got it five for a pound but it's a shower cap um really nice one reminds me of radley with the little doggies obviously it's not a radley shower cap because radley doesn't use shower cap but um i liked the idea of it i liked the idea of the shower cap you know, those evenings where you don't want to blow dry your hair every night, you know, I can sit there with my little shower cap on, looking like someone from the 1940s that's hanging out her washing. Um, <laughs> but I thought it was so cute. I didn't care that it was pink. I did like the doggy. Then I still needed to get more items for my pound. So I picked up this to sell on um ebay and this is a brownie badge book now none of this was filled in so i don't know how old this is but um it's all the brownie badges that you can get um i don't know apparently you do brownie badges on culture cycling dancing um hostessing hobbies home safety and apparently as you get your badges um you apparently oh science investigator apparently you fill them in down here to say that you've done them you maybe get your brown owl which i think is the brownie's head to like sign it um i have absolutely no idea but i picked that up to sell then i still needed more items yes more items because at that point i still only had three and then i saw this cute little doggy look at him isn't he just cute originally he was two quid but the little doggy it is, is now mine and, and he's free but you get the little doggy look at him 
little doggy. Um, there's Andrex. There is a little Andrex puppy. How cute is he? Come on. He's not cooperating. Andrex puppy. He's all little beanie dog. He came with his own little pouch. And he has his own little certificate. And it says birth certificate of Homer. And this is from NCDL, which is, um, uh, thank you for helping NCDL to give a dog a life. The NCDL is the largest dog welfare charity, and they care for 10,000 dogs and rehome them. Um, happy, healthy, permanent homes. Uh, because you have taken an Andrex bean puppy home, you have helped NCDL raise £50,000 for give a dog a life. So whoever got this really did. Well, and he's even got a thing to say his name. And then he's got this little pouch that he comes with. Um, and it even has like little handles. Um, so you can like take it around. I suppose you can hang it on your door with your little doggy poking out, I guess. I don't know. You can like put them on the back of your door, I guess. Or hang him from your wardrobe and he'll just hang there. But I thought that was so cute, and that he had his little birth certificate with him. So, and look at him. Isn't he adorable? So that's cute. And then I still needed one more item because they were five for a pound. It was so hard at that point. I really had gone round and found nothing I wanted to take home. And then I found this. This is the Zen Ruins kit. Look at that. And inside, look at that. Ooh. So this is Zen's Ruins kit. Now I've never heard of Ruins, but apparently Ruin Stones um, were created by the Vikings and apparently they can tell you different things. Inspiration and Wisdom and Zen Insight. So it comes with your little book um, and then you get your little Ruin Stones and I'm guessing that's a little pouch to keep them in. And it all came boxed. Brand new, never been opened. All the details there, if you want to read. Um, never heard of anyone using these at home. I don't know anything about it. Gonna have to maybe look it up before I sell it because I'm not exactly sure how much something like this is to sell for. So I got that, the little doggy, the brownie book. I got the shower cat and the donut sticky notes, all for a quid just so they could clean their store out to put new stock in. Because what they didn't want to do was throw the stock away. Um, so the best way to get rid of the stock was to say, look, just take five items for a pound and go. So I got five items for a pound. Obviously, I only wanted the sticky notes, but in the end, after I'd looked, there were quite a few good bits there. Um, so yeah, that's everything in this haul. If you want to see my next tool, it's going to be a One Below Poundland and Primark haul. Who doesn't love Primark or Poundland? And One Below is kind of like B&M, Pound Shop. Everything in that store is under a pound, hence One Below. Have to excuse the aeroplane. It's the middle of the night here. But if you want to see more from me, give me a big thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. What you've been doing over bank holiday. I went to car boots. I've been shopping. I've had a whale of a time. I must admit it's been a really nice end of summer I suppose you could say. But yeah Poundland, One Below and Primark coming up very soon. So if you'd like to like subscribe, big thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.